everyone and happy Palm Sunday. So for today's lesson, all you are going to need are these two printouts and this should be in your bag, but it is a little Brad and there are lots of different colors of these. So hopefully you got a color that you really like. We also will be reading from our Spark Bible. So let's get started. Oh, and you also need something to color with. So that could be crayons, markers, anything like that. So let's read the story of Palm Sunday. Friends, Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. I've got some important things to do and I want to celebrate the Passover there with you. Will you please come with me? Sure, said the disciples. Passover is a great holiday. Such good food and what a wonderful story Passover celebrates. The exodus of God's people, the Israelites, from Egypt. It's good to be with friends and family at Passover. So Jesus and his friends started to go to Jerusalem. When they got close to the city, Jesus said, I'd like two of you to go borrow a donkey in the next village over. Please tell the owner I need it. He'll understand. When the two friends came back with a donkey, Jesus climbed on its back and rode down the hill into the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Here's the picture. And there's Squiggles going along with them. Suddenly, they found themselves in a parade. People were singing and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, here comes the king. Here comes God's king. Hosanna, praise God. People all over heard the shouting and singing, and they joined in the parade too. Hundreds of people, thousands of people. They started taking off their coats and laying them on the ground for Jesus and the donkey to walk on. Then they pulled down palm branches down off of the trees and waved them around as they sang Hosanna. Then they threw their palms on the ground to make a pathway for Jesus. Whoa, look at all of that. And do you see squiggles up there with Jesus? Look at all those palm branches. That's so cool. They knew how important Jesus was and they definitely wanted to celebrate him. The crowd gave Jesus a royal welcome as he rode into the city, just like a king. He was a king, but Jesus was a very different type of king. He was the king of peace. Not everyone understood that. Jesus was not at all what they were expecting. They thought the crowd was too loud and the parade was getting too big. Who is that man? Someone asked. What's going on here? asked another. The crowd answered, this is Jesus, God's king. He has come to save us all. Some of the religious leaders murmured, hm. Jesus, tell your friends to be quiet. Shh. It's way too loud here. But Jesus said, we can try to make these people be quiet, but that wouldn't make a difference because today the whole earth is celebrating. Ooh, look at them all celebrating Jesus. Isn't that so cool? And that's something that we want to be doing too. Each and every day we want to be celebrating Jesus, but especially on Palm Sunday. So I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but at church on Palm Sunday, we have palms that we also wave. And sometimes it's a full palm branch or sometimes it's just one of those palm leaves because a full palm branch can get pretty heavy sometimes. And we all wave our palm branches and we say Hosanna also. We're praising God. So this year, you might be able to be in a position where you can go and get a palm branch. But if not, here is what we are going to be making today. So we are going to take this palm branch. And do you see what it says on the top? Hosanna. This is for us to color for Palm Sunday. So if you want to make it look like a traditional palm branch, you can color it green. But let's say you want to have a special palm branch. 
You could make it rainbow colored or red or purple or polka dotted. This is how you are going to celebrate Jesus today. And so what I would like you to do is to color this, cut it out, and then at some point in time, maybe with your family, maybe with friends, maybe just by yourself, take your palm branch. And so here's mine. I, I colored it a light green. And I want you to take your palm branch and I want you to wave it around too, saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. And we are going to be praising God as we wave our palm branch. You can also use this palm branch to decorate your house. One of the things that I always do whenever I come home on Palm Sunday is I put that palm on my front door and let that be kind of like sometimes people put wreaths on their front door, things like that. I love doing that because it is showing all of my neighbors that we are celebrating Palm Sunday. So today we are gonna actually have another bonus activity for us to do because this upcoming week is a very special week, right? We call this week Holy Week because coming up soon is going to be Easter. But we have a lot of stuff that happens before Easter. So we have Passover starting, we have Maundy Thursday, we have Good Friday, we have the Easter Vigil, and then we ha finally get to have Easter. So the next thing that you are going to do is you are going to take this paper and you are going to color it and then you are going to cut these out. And so it is going to look something like this. So this side kind of looks like it's a pizza that had a, a piece cut out of it. And then this one looks like a circle. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our brad and we are going to find right here in the middle, there is a dot for us. So I'm going to put my brad through that dot. And now you can see it is on here. Then I'm going to find the next hole. And look, that's right there in the middle. I'm going to put it through that one. And if I were doing this at home, I would be a little bit more careful to make sure everything lined up. But actually, I did a pretty good job without even having to put it down. Then on the back, you will see it's poking straight up. We are going to bend the two sides. So get your fingernail between that, bend one side, bend the other side. That is going to keep it right here. So we are going to turn our dial because we want to start at the very beginning. So we need to keep turning, turning, turning. Palm Sunday. That's what's happening today. So we'll turn ours to say Holy Week, Palm Sunday. So throughout the week, what I want you to do is turn your dial again. And so look, here's our next one, Maundy Thursday. And you might be able to guess, oops, you might be able to guess what's happening here. Hmm, it looks like I see bread and wine. That sounds like communion. That also sounds like Passover, the Passover meal that um, Jesus talked to his disciples and taught them how to do communion. We also see a foot being washed right here. And we see Jesus praying in the garden. Mm, so we'll have to find out more about that on Thursday. Then we'll keep spinning. We see, aha, here is Good Friday. I see three crosses there. Hmm, that's gonna be the next part of our story. Then we have, here is the Easter Vigil. Ooh, we see that there is a tomb and the door is closed and nothing's happening. Hmm, that looks a bit sad. A lot of prayers need to be happening at that time. And then here we finally get to Easter. And if we look at this one, we see there's a woman her name is Mary. She is walking up to this tomb carrying some things and it looks like the tomb is open. So we'll have to find out what happens then. So please make sure that you tune in the rest of this week too. We will be having videos on Wednesday for Passover and you guys have crafts that you can do for that. On Thursday for Maundy Thursday, you have crafts for that. On Friday, for Good Friday, you have crafts for that. And then of course, on Sunday, Easter Sunday, you have crafts for that. So we'll have a lesson for each one of those days this week. So even though we might not all be together, I really hope that all of you will choose to celebrate all of these very, very special days and that you'll join me and, and that we can do this together. 
So thank you so much. Let me pray for us before we close out. Dear God, thank you so, so much for this season, for Holy Week. Please help us to make sure that we are very, very focused on you this week, on everything that you have sacrificed for us. Let us go every day praising your name, just like all of those people did, where they took off their coats because they knew that you were so important. They took down palm branches and waved them to celebrate you. They created a parade just for you because you are that special and that important. Let us praise your name every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, everybody.